I'm finally getting around to make a video about this. Here's my piston, and there's the chamber. This is the number one cylinder here. So uh, let me tell you guys what happened. Basically, the whole engine is toast. Uh, this was the uh, built engine that I had put in. Um, LS1 pistons, ported heads. What ended up happening is a valve seat fell out while I was... The car was idling in the driveway. I was warming it up. Engine stumbled. Uh, shut off. Fired it back up. It had a misfire. I diagnosed it for a little bit. Uh, trying to figure out which cylinder it was. Pulled the spark plug on the number one cylinder. Spark plug gap was closed. And um, so I did a compression check on that cylinder. And I came back with uh, zero compression. Absolutely zero compression. So let me show you the damage here. This is the number one cylinder that you can see. It's all chewed up. Piston is all chewed up. Actually part of the valve seat is still there in the piston. And here is the valve seat that fell out that you can actually see. It's gone completely. Let me get a good shot of that. But yeah, it's gone. No more valve seat. Completely wiped. There's a better shot of it. You can see the, um, the exhaust seat is in there. Intake one fell out. And because the intake valve seat fell out, the engine was still running at the time, so every time the valve would open and the piston would come up to the top, well, basically, even when the valve was shut, the seat wasn't there. And um, all the bits got smashed and got pumped right back up into the intake. And then the other cylinders, of course, were still working. And they sucked down parts of the valve seat, too. So here's the adjacent cylinder. And this one even here, too. This is a cylinder number five. This one even has a little bit of damage in it. So that's why, of course, I had to take the stock engine, put the stock engine in it. So I've been running on the stock engine. But yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing is toast. So I ended up pulling the whole engine down. Um, some of these pistons look pretty good. You know, they got a little bit of couple nicks here and there. Um, some cylinders are better than others. So two pistons are definitely damaged. These two here. Cylinders one and cylinder three. The rest of them don't look too bad. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Um, the cylinders actually in the block, the bores, they look good. Uh, no scoring. I don't know how I managed that. I guess I kind of lucked out with that. There's no scores in the cylinder walls. So I think the block is reusable. Um, maybe just do a hone on it, um, and that's about it. So, um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. Uh, maybe down in the comments you guys can kind of tell me what you think I should do. Should I, uh, I got two extra pistons. I bought LS1 pistons, so I got a set of eight. So since two of them are completely wiped, two of them are bad, um, what should I do, guys? Should I just take the uh, spare two pistons and uh, slap them on these rods, put the motor back together, and send it? Or possibly take it off to the machine shop, have the bores honed or even bored out if I have to, and get all and get six brand new pistons. Um, not quite sure what to do. I haven't really decided yet, but you can kind of see that this piston here, number four, looks pretty good. The even cylinders look pretty good. It was the um, odd cylinders that looked the worst. So here's cylinder number three. That one's. Like I said, that one's toast as well. So cylinder one and cylinder three got completely obliterated. Here's five. You can see it's got a little bit of damage on there, but it's not terrible. And the sides of the the sides of them look pretty good actually. So not quite sure what to do. Feel free to comment. Let me know. But uh, yeah, that's racing. Things happen. And uh, it's just unfortunate that the valve seat fell out. Uh, it was it was fast. I mean, I don't know exactly how fast. I was still tuning it, but um, I had done some fourth gear pulls up to 6,800 RPM, and um, it felt it felt pretty good. So, if I had to guess, I probably would have said you know 550 wheel horsepower. That's kind of what it felt like.
but um, who knows? And maybe I'll never know. But um, yeah, so should I just take piston number one and piston number three and just put the new pistons on it? Or um, go for a full rebuild and six brand new pistons? Let me know in the comments, guys. But uh, just want to give you an update. This is what actually happened to uh, my forged engine. So I know some of you guys know I had it. But uh, this is what happened to it. So this was uh, months ago. And um, the dyno was the stock engine. And um, I wasn't too far off from actually dynoing the built engine. But then this happened and I swapped in the stock engine in oh, about four days and had it running. So, But uh, alright guys, that's it. Feel free to uh, comment, like I said, and uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, guys.